Last week on SmackDown, we got the shocking return of the phenomenal one, AJ Styles, the man that built, or the, the yeah, the man that built SmackDown the house that AJ Styles built, as he says. But more shocking than his return was the fact that even though he had been attacked a few months ago by the bloodline, he's been gone from WWE for about three months now. Back then, he was a babyface. Technically, I'd still consider him a babyface right now. But he targeted and attacked the man. Oh, hey, night. Yeah. In a shocking turn of events. Because simply put, that's not the action of a babyface. And I'm here to tell you exactly why he attacked L.A. Knight. Yeah. And the fact that the matter is, the fact of life, actually. AJ Styles, and, I, and again, I'm saying this without actually looking at any spoilers because I know for a fact that they taped tonight's SmackDown and they taped, I believe, uh, next Monday Night Raw because obviously it's Christmas Day. We got Christmas weekend coming up. All the superstars need to be with their families. I'm hoping you all are also with your families as well during these holiday times. But basically, AJ Styles attacked L.A. Knight for what happened at Crown Jewel and what happened prior to Crown Jewel. Because like I said, like three months ago, the bloodline attacked AJ Styles and he got taken out. Even though it wasn't that big of an attack, but he got taken out for three months. L.A. Knight stepped in. He became John Cena's tag team partner at Fastlane, if I'm not mistaken. And after that, L.A. Knight got a shot at the undisputed WWE Universal Championship and the Tribal Chief himself, Roman Reigns. And even though L.A. Knight got this close to dethroning Roman Reigns and becoming the brand new undisputed Universal Champion, he didn't quite get the job done because of Jimmy Uso, of course. But now... AJ Styles is back, and I'm pretty much giving, and it's pretty pretty much giving me a deja vu moment because I firmly believe, I think, I I can pretty much predict we're getting a lone wolf version of AJ Styles, just like we did in TNA Wrestling back in 2013. Reasons being, there's no honor among thieves, even if it is, even if they are both baby faces. AJ Styles and LA Knight. They both are going for the top spot. They are both going for the world title. And rightfully so. AJ Styles should have gotten that shot at Crown Jewel. In storyline, he got taken out. LA Knight stepped up. He took advantage of that opportunity. And he went after the Tribal Chief. AJ Styles will not take that lightly. On top of that, you got the Good Brothers. You got Michian, who I still, I'm still want to call me a Yim. I prefer to call her me a Yim. But, I mean, AJ Styles pretty much had issues with them prior to being attacked by the Bloodline. Because the OC, the Good Brothers, did not want to get involved with Reigns, with Uso, with Solo Sokoa. And obviously AJ Styles got pissed off. And now, they're going to run a backstage segment between the group. And my prediction is AJ Styles. Is going to tell him to F off, read between the lines, and just let him handle business on his own. And again, this isn't about AJ Styles getting a world title shot. No, AJ Styles versus LA Knight at the Rumble, that's a possibility. But in the meantime, again, we're uh, like a full month, still a full month away from the next premium live event, the next pay-per-view for WWE. So they got to build these uh, attractive programs, attractive feuds. Just like we're getting Cody Rhodes and Shinsuke Nakamura. Just like we're getting Drew McIntyre and Seth freaking Rollins. Just like we're not right now, we're getting LA Knight and uh, AJ Styles, Randy Orton and Roman Reigns for the for the Undisputed Universal Championship. You gotta build some momentum, especially going into the new year for WWE. And the best way to keep LA Knight re relevant, and again, he was not a part of the Survivor Series, is to pit him up against a returning superstar of the caliber of AJ Styles. And if they do it right, if they play their cards right, they can elevate both men. 
they're not going to bury LA Knight anytime soon. But they got to give AJ Styles something to do, especially since Randy Orton is back. And he's targeting, he's getting a world title shot at the Rumble. AJ Styles has got to return and do something. LA Knight is not doing anything at the moment. So putting these two together, it keeps the audience interested in both men. Keeps the momentum on both men. And on top of that, AJ Styles can afford to take the loss. LA Knight can get a win over a major superstar like AJ Styles, former WWE Champion. LA Knight can keep going on the rise. And the phenomenal one is back on the blue brand, back where he belongs. But again, those are just my thoughts on why AJ Styles attacked LA Knight. Like I said, much like with Drew McIntyre, he's getting a slow burn heel turn. He's not quite yet a full-blown heel. AJ Styles might get that same treatment tonight and in the next few weeks over on SmackDown. So with that said, what are your thoughts on the return of AJ Styles? What are your thoughts on him attacking the megastar himself, LA Knight? Yeah. Leave your thoughts, comments, and predictions in the comment section below. In the meantime, tune in later on tonight to Fox for another episode of SmackDown. Tune in later on tonight to TNT, I believe. We got Rampage, we got Collision, and of course, enjoy the next few weeks. Christmas, New Year's, with your family. Have a great time with your loved ones, with your friends. Really cherish those moments. Be right there in the present. Don't worry about anything else. And again... I'm going to take a break from this channel. It's going to be about two weeks where I won't be actually making uh, content in the moment. But have no fear. I did prep myself for these next two weeks. There will be content dropping every single day, Monday through Friday, for the next two weeks. I got you on that. But in the meantime, I'll see you next time and I'll see you in the next year. So with that said, let's enjoy some wrestling. Let's enjoy your time with our families. Happy holidays. I'm Alexis Correo, and I'll see you next time.